Today, I'm going to discuss a very important study that came out in Nature Medicine. It was conducted by researchers at the University of Mexico. It's a 2025 study, but it goes back almost a decade looking at data of the increase of microplastics in the brain. And what this study found is that there are even higher concentrations of microplastics in the brain than in the liver and the kidneys. Now, we've known that microplastics have been found in every part of the body, including our blood, our cells, hair, skin, everything. But we didn't know that the concentrations were not only so high in the brain, but that they increased from 2016 to 2024 by 50%. So the danger is getting worse. The typical weight of the microplastics in the brain alone equal that of a plastic spoon. This is a really scary study, really scary evidence. And to be honest, I heard about this a few weeks ago and I've been contemplating doing a video myself and every time I got uneasy about it. It's such an uncomfortable topic, even for me, especially with two kids, it just shook me up. And I wanted to address this because there are some things that we can do. There is some evidence that shows we can do things. Now, first of all, none of this is medical advice. None of this is supplement advice. Ask your doctor before you do any of these things or try any of these things, including exercising or changing your diet. All of this stuff is straightforward. Almost all of it is natural. You don't have to buy anything to do it. I happen to be doing some things and taking some things and eating some things that I have been now for a few years that can help detox the body from microplastics. But I didn't even know it and I didn't even know that was why I was doing it or that was one of the reasons I was doing it. I was doing it for longevity. But why live longer if we're just going to fill up our bodies with microplastics? I mean, yes, we do need to detox along the way. We need to live healthy if we're going to live longer. And that's certainly what we're discussing. Now, there were a couple of videos that I saw, and one of them was from Riker at the Anti-Aging Channel, and he did a great job breaking down a lot of the science behind this and what you could do to treat your body. He brought up something that I hadn't seen, but it turns out through some searches, it is a helpful supplement that can also help excrete microplastics from the body, which is activated charcoal. So I'm not going to go at length into activated charcoal. That's not something I'm taking, but I'm considering it now that Riker brought it up in the light that he did. And it also came up in the research that I did about detoxing the body from these microplastics. But the stuff I want to go over with you that you can do to give you a fighting chance, there's no cure here, right? There's no answer. There's no super overpromised breakthrough that I can tell you this absolutely will eliminate microplastics. There's no way to do it, but we want a fighting chance, right? We have this problem. We need something. We need to be doing something to fight it off. And the first thing you can do is eat broccoli. Better yet, broccoli sprouts. Why? Because broccoli contains a molecule called sephorophane. You've probably heard me talk about it before. It exists in 10 times the quantity in broccoli sprouts. This is not something you can easily find at the store, easily buy, but some people do eat it every day. I do get notes from people, comments from people, hey, I'm eating these every day. Good on you. Um, I take a sephorophane supplement. It's called Sephora Boost. All the supplements that I do take are in the description. I didn't know that I was taking it for this purpose, but there's some preliminary research that shows that it can help discharge the microplastic from your cells. And then you flush it out through other means throughout the body, I'll get to in a second. So why Sephora Boost? Because it has high concentrations of pure sulforaphane. And I do trust where they come from. Again, link in the description. So that's one thing I do. The other thing you could do is take a probiotic. You could do that with food. I eat yogurt every day, and I started to eat, ever since I researched probiotics recently, we started to eat more sauerkraut a couple times a week now. We're in Germany. It's easy to get fresh sauerkraut here. With all of these steps, I suggest you research what you can do, what's convenient for you. Research detoxing the body, get those natural antioxidants, get it out of the body. Why do we want the probiotic? so that the gut can be healthy, so that it can excrete these microplastics when they get there. So how are we going to get there from the cells to the gut? And that's where fiber comes in. And I've brought this up before, oats, quinoa. There are some anti-odors out there that don't like oats. And I'm telling you, I eat them every day and I'm doing just fine eating them. And it turns out they're great at binding these microplastics and delivering them to the gut so you can excrete them. So you can drink water as well. Unfortunately, most of us get our water in plastic bottles. Most of the tap water also has microplastics plastics or micrometals. So this is not an easy solution. If you have a great water filter, great, do it. I don't yet. I still get plastic bottles. I'm rethinking that whole approach. 
as we speak. The other things you can do, and it just so happens I do do them, I do take these, is take antioxidants. I take NAC, I take vitamin C, that one I get from the grocery store, I take quercetin. These all came up in researching this topic, and it just so happens I already do them. So I do feel pretty fortunate that I'm doing most of the things on the list, except for the activated charcoal. But how do these microplastics get from our environment into our bodies. And it turns out primarily, not only do we drink them, but we inhale them. Matter of fact, we get most of them through breathing them in. And that got me to thinking about, well, how am I getting them in my house? Oh my gosh, we get deliveries almost every day or every few days from Amazon. That's something my wife does, she shops, I do, we shop, we get the box, we open up the box. And I've seen with the light shining in the window a certain way, a dust cloud appears when you open these boxes. And I think, oh my gosh, what we need to be doing, is what, this is my pro tip for you, is to open these boxes up outside, take the item out, wipe them down, then bring them in the house. It's just one less source of microplastics to enter your body. Then get a HEPA filter. And we do happen to have one. Like I said, I'm doing most of these things. Make sure you have a HEPA filter and for your vacuum cleaner as well. So an air purifier with a HEPA filter, but also put them in your vacuum cleaners and just keep the house as clean as you can from this stuff to try to reduce every day what you're breathing in. And again, I say research this stuff yourself. When I first made a video about NMN, which NMN could be playing a role here, by the way, because NMN reduces oxidative stress. Another thing that might help that I take is nitralis because we're talking about circulation. We're talking about excreting these things from the cells. Then you need to flush them out in your blood. So raising those nitric oxide levels might help too. I don't see how it could hurt. So I gave you a bunch of natural things you could do, and I'm encouraging you to go research it. When I first made my NMN video over four years ago, what I said was, go research this yourself. Go look up and a man, go look up David Sinclair, go look up these things. And I say it again now, go look up detoxing microplastics, go look up this study. I'll put a link to the study in the description. I'll put a link to Riker's video in the description. I'll put a link to the supplements that I take that I mentioned today also in the description. And you can use my code Pulse and save 10% if you decide to go that route. I wish you luck with this. This is something that affects every single one of us. You talk about aging and longevity. Yeah, some of us age worse than others and some of us are younger than others. But microplastics, they're in all of our environments. They're in all of our bodies. Every single one of us have this problem. So again, research it and do what you can to fight back. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.